Leila Morris and Edwina Curry join me now. This is a hoot. It's an absolute hoot because I think the generation that you guys are in um, are growing old utterly disgracefully. And it's great. And I think you should be. <laughs> I really do. I really, really We're do. We're doing our best. You me. are doing your totally best. Totally disgraceful. Well, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. So the whole premise of this is what? Is it just to show people that the baby boomer generation are, are, are growing older in a, in a disgraceful fashion? Is that what it's about? Well, there's an awful lot of us. Right? Yes. So about, like, about 15 million people wow. over 65 or something like that. And basically, we're not all problems and trouble no. now. Some of us are just having the time of our lives, isn't that right? Yeah. And so what they've done is there's four programmes starting tomorrow night and one each for the next few Tuesdays, uh, giving us an opportunity to kind of try something new. Yeah, so did you... you I became a punk rocker. Did you? <laughs> Pink hair. <laughs> you know, remember people used to have blue rinses back in the day, though that gives it a whole kind of new meaning, it really does. And Leila, are you enjoying getting older? Um, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. I mean, we've all got to get old, don't we? We do, and the alternative is not good. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not good. No. But yeah, do you think? But I think it's different for your generation, though. It is different for your generation because you grew up. Think, you know, there were so many more things that were that were better. You know, it was easier. I think, don't you? It was, it was I think right. right. I mean, yeah. when, we, when we were little, there was still food rationing. Yeah, Gosh. I remember my granny coming with with food rationing and sweets and giving them to us almost one at a time. We live in a, a, a vastly different and, and, in many ways, far better world. I think. Yeah. But the, the key thing is, there's an awful lot of us, and we are determined. We're a generation that changed things back in mm. the 60s, and we're determined to keep on like that, to keep doing things in a fresh way. I'm not sure about internet dating, though. No, um, no, I think I would draw the line. There, was a, there are granny dating websites. There None are. of us, I think, is on one. Um, <laughs> and there's Am an I? awful lot of kind of wobbly <laughs> flesh on show. Oh, really? It's that explicit? Yes. OK. Um, Maybe not. Uh, uh, John and I kept saying to each other, I think they should put that away, really, you know. There, there comes a time when less is more, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think we should maybe not, not think about that, for sure. No, but it's interesting, because I think in your generation, expectations were, were higher. You know, you, you were told you could do anything. I mean, people, you know, you've been, you've been acting, you've done many things in your life, and you weren't ever stopped from doing anything, I guess? No. I used to say, you know, if you want to do it, get on with it and yeah. do it. And just You had no restrictions. You know, and um, as you say, when we was growing up, um, it was a lot easier. I can remember the trams. <laughs> oh, the trams, trams. Yeah. back in Edinburgh. I was on one at the weekend. Was They've it? come back. They've oh. made a return. <laughs> See, things come back. Yeah. Things come back. They really do. They do. So for you, I mean, obviously, we, we've seen you in EastEnders. Well, if not, there's always internet dating. I don't think so. No. <laughs> I don't think we was no, into no, the no. internet dating. I don't no, think that's going to happen. Said, I might land up with some crazy man. Well, exactly, or yeah. some. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's difficult, though, isn't it? When you get to a certain age to try and meet other people, it's quite hard. You know, it's it's. It, it's, that, always it's, it's always hard. It's always hard. Very true. Um, but actually, apparently, according to the figures they found, seven out of ten pensioners have tried internet dating. Well. Uh, and I, I shared my amazement and shock and horror at this <laughs> with the, the members of the male voice choir when my husband sings, and at least one of them said, oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. yes. There's some brother. Do you know what? If it works for you, if it works for you. Now, look, I have to ask you about the election, Edwina, because, I mean, you, you, know, you said that with all your years of experience, what would you be saying to Theresa May right now? If you had a chance to advise her, what would you say to her? I think it might start with get and it might finish with lost. Really? Do you think so? That was, that was not good. It no. was not good. We didn't need an election. We could have been perfectly well without one. She called it. She had I, 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 I everywhere. Fine. You carry the can for that. But uh, we need a government. Mm. So that needs to, that transition, I think, needs to be handled rather well. We've got party conference starting 1st of October in Manchester, and I think it needs to be sorted by then. Mm. But you don't think she can last? Not really? I'd be doubtful. Right. Okay. Interesting. Edwina, thank you. Leila, it's always great to see you. Thank you. Thank you both very much indeed for coming in.